God, I'm really, really terrible. So this is another Belmont main for sure. Uh, we do have Belmont on the stream. It is going to be Kane, Mabel as Dr. Mario. We have Mabel who beat Broken 2-1, then beat Salad 2-1, then beat Devils 2-1. Uh, Kane got here by beating Kiwi 2-0, and then actually 2-0-ing Marvelous Marco. Marvelous Marco able to get the 2-1 over Hungry Box, and that's how we see Mabel and Kane here on the stream. Dang. Um... He went through a lot. <laughs> yeah, that is that is the crazy thing about online, man. I actually tell people online is so crazy. It's it's meta is very very different than Elite Smash. Um, I have my own opinions on it, but nonetheless, man, uh, Kane really out here with another Belmont. Last week we had a really good one here. We had Luffy. Today we have Kane, and I know I just saw T3 Dome like this past weekend. He's also going to be joining us on the stream. If you guys are watching the vods, but Belmont is definitely one of those characters. I'm kind of happy to see every now and then. People have their complaints about the character, but the character does have a pretty solid skill gap. It really is more than just spam projectiles. You have to really be able to use the character as a whole. Yeah, you have to learn the range with him, especially his, like, uh... Oh, wait, hold on. You're not screen sharing, by the way. Oh, my God. I am so sorry. I was I like, I wait, did the match start? Because <laughs> I'm looking at Twitch right now. There we go. All right. Nice reflector with a, a side special coming out from Mabel. Mabel uh, having trouble to get back to stage, which is something that the Belmonts uh, are really good at is ledge trapping. With their, uh, their uh, I believe it's the cross and then the axe and also the holy water. It's a, they're very good tools that allow you to keep your opponent on the stage. And uh, one thing T3 Dom told me is that uh, science, the Belmonts want you to roll, which might seem like the best way to get out, but they want you to roll. And if right. you roll, they'll be able to pull off something that they usually wouldn't. But nice down throw to the up special, not being able to get the kill. Using his neutral special right now with the pills. Nice double jump to back air, though. And sitting at 149, uh, doing pretty well. But... At, at, the, at this current moment, I feel like Mabel's gonna have to try to play a little passive aggressive, like wait for Kane to uh, make a slight mistake and then try to do some damage and make Kane to at least 50%. So you can have almost getting touched by, by the axe, though. But yeah. Yeah, think for, I mean, like you said, Belmont's is a character that really wants to roll. And I think the one thing about Mabel here is Mabel did not roll. He held his guard very, very well. And then Abra just sends out Kane in the middle of the retreat. Get that forward smash and move on. Game one in his hands. I mean, good stuff to Mabel, honestly. Uh, Mario is a character that rewards you for understanding the basics of the game. Dr. Mario, I've said this like time and time again. He is a character that is like, you trade in all the good things about Mario for extra knockback and being a glass cannon, and that can either pay off very well or it pays off very terribly. I think in Wi-Fi, I will definitely always tell people Dr. Mario is much better on Wi-Fi than offline, for sure. But the character definitely still has got... He's, he's got his own style of sauce, for sure. Yeah, uh, I used to play Dr. Mario back in uh, Smash 4 days, and... Uh... One thing that I really despised about him was his recovery being extremely bad. Yeah, but I mean, when you look at it though, like the character really does reward you for being able to capitalize on a lot of really strong neutral exchanges. But also once you understand that character's like terrible recovery, then you start to begin to like, all right, how to avoid being sent to that terrible recovery. It's a lot. I think Dr. Morrow definitely has a pretty interesting skill gap. Uh, so does the Belmonts though. Yeah, I mean like, so, Dr. Mario, like, he's able to get close range. He does really well at close range, and he's able to space with his um, aerials. And then the Belmonts are able to go long range due to their whip and their projectiles, which, and then they also both lack in a recovery. But I would say the Belmonts are slightly better because they're able to use their aerials to get back to stage. Yeah. That's and, the cool uh, thing about the character, too. Like, you can, your tether is a pretty reliable tether on top of already having a really solid upbeat but that is going to be a a tech check right there as i would like to call it there because that was immediately on kane 
to make sure you got the second. Unfortunately, that was going to be really big for Mabel, able to just kind of somewhat carry this lead all the way through. Yeah, I mean... Also, even uh, the Belmonts are also like allowed to ledge trap, as I said before. No, why did you roll? The... Why would you roll into that? You should have at least normal. Okay, that, that's, oh man, that's, that's rough. And it's hard too, because Kane's, Kane's thought process is like, get away from the ledge, right? Like Dr. Morrow has enough knockback to actually take care of me. That directional air dodge away is to avoid getting hit by a juggle. But when you think about it, sometimes it is better to either try to take the hit in, or in some some situations, because you have to evaluate, is that better than than the alternative? In Kane's situation, right, was, you know, staying at the ledge better than rolling and getting hit by four times. Unfortunately, you know, Kane found it the hard way. And then also Dr. Mario's uh, side smash or, or F smash is stronger than Mario's, if I'm not mistaken. Or it has more knockback, so therefore he was able to, uh, Mabel was able to get Kane's second stock off at the uh, at pretty early percent. But get, uh, Mabel losing his first stock and using that, uh, I think it was down throw to down special to get back to stage. Nice holy water to the up air and then a forwarder to follow it up. Yeah, and Cross then coming back to hit him in the back. Yeah, uh, Cross is a really good opportunity to kind of like grab break or just combo break anything every now and then. That's why you see some Belmonts toss it away or toss it towards their opponent. It all depends on the kind of setup they're looking for. And Cross really does reward you on that skill curve. If you know how to use Cross to confirm from it and off of it, you'll be 10 times better. I mean, that's why T3 Dome is able to be such a strong player with he is with Cross. Uh, but Kane looking for the recovery here, has to go for that extra low, uses the tether and then Cross also to buy himself towards center stage. This time able to narrowly roll away from that other match. You can tell Mabel was keen to cover that. Good pressure on that ledge. Mabel saves that jump there for another day. Uh, no pun intended on this man's tag, though. <laughs> but, uh... Um, Mabel getting back to stage. Ooh. Getting hit by the cross. But, uh, that he's, uh, Mabel's actually really fine. Doing really great right now with the extra stock. Missing that forward air. Now, the, uh, that forward air does lack the, spi uh, the spiking that Mario has. But it is really good. Using the back air and to finish off... Kane's last stock, and I believe the set goes to Mabel, correct? That is correct indeed. Uh, man, one of, that's one of the weaknesses of Belmont's just coming out altogether. Is you see that